Hi, I'm Eric from SplitSecondBasketball.com. How long does it take you to release your shot? If you don't know, you need to find out. Nothing, absolutely nothing, is more important to your success as a basketball player than your ability to develop a split-second shooting release. Take a video of yourself with a timestamp and slow it down so that you can see how long it takes you from the moment you catch the ball to when you release your shot. If you need help with this, SplitSecondBasketball.com offers a shooting analysis package which includes timing of your shot and can be found on the website. When you develop a shot that takes 42 one hundredths of a second to release instead of 80 one hundredths or more, a whole new world of opportunity will open up for you as a player. Creating a split second shooting habit will do more for your game than adding 12 inches to your vertical, 25 pounds of muscle, or even any other skill you can be taught. The most important element of your shot is how you catch the ball. The key to split second shooting is being 100% prepared to deliver energy to the ball the moment it hits your hands. Your body needs to be in the perfect position, energy stored and ready to deploy. Stored energy comes from bent joints. Here's how to make sure your body's in the perfect ready position. Before you catch the ball, your ankles, knees and hips are bent. Make special note that your ankles are actively bent or loaded. Engage your core. This one is essential because if your core isn't properly engaged, you'll lose the power stored in your lower body. You need your core to transfer all that energy to the ball. Now you're ready to catch the ball. The real time killers in most people's shot is the adjustments they make after they catch the ball. And now that your lower body is in position, you need to catch the ball with the correct hand and wrist position to immediately go into your shot. Remember, we need the energy from the joint of your wrist. You need to really focus on this one because the extra power that comes from actively flexing your wrist and pulling back is extremely important to your shot. Notice the difference between an 80% flex that comes from passively flexing it and 100% from actively pulling back on these muscles. You need to load your wrist immediately upon catching the ball. In fact, you can use the ball's momentum to get you into position. The majority of energy for the shot comes from the wrist. And it's also what we use to control direction and touch. So it's really important that you get this one right. With this preparation, you're ready to bring the ball to set position and go straight into your shot in one fluid motion without having to stop to adjust. If you can follow these steps and make them your habit, you can have a huge competitive edge. Learn, train, and reinforce the split-second habits. Train your competitive edge.